So what's up folks, I'm Jose Sanders. Uh, right now I'm getting over a upper respiratory infection. Uh, you gotta excuse the, uh, the sickness here. Uh, but today we're gonna be talking about this mammoth, uh, Two-person dome tent, right here, Bushnell. I've searched and searched and searched. Sorry, I'm doing a bad uh, angle here. It's uh, roughly about seven pounds. Um, it's it's not all that bad. Uh, I've slept in it once. Um, it was a great sleep. It was called a little bit of rain. And, and oh yeah, oh, oh, sorry about that guys, it hold up, it hold up well, um, there's a lot of figuring out that I want to do, and I, I want to do that with you guys, um, if you're interested, or have, um, the Bushnell, uh, see, uh, two person tent, uh, you already probably know and probably wanting to uh, address it. Address the, uh, the vegetable. I can't say it right. Uh, the vegetable. Uh, that's one of those words. Vestible. And my question is, can you tuck that part under the tent? Or do you have to use it? Or what to do? if you don't want to use that part. So, I'm going to see if I can address that uh, here shortly. Um, I've searched and searched and searched online and there wasn't no thorough video about it. And also, um, there was videos on the uh, one man tent, the bivy, the bivy, the bivy tents, which was kind of kind of irritating. Now on Walmart, people took pictures. That doesn't do me justice. I wanted to know if the uh, Bushnell um, tent was great. Uh, by the reviews, it said it was awesome. People would recommend it. So I'm going to uh, get started on erecting the tent. Peace. For now, I'll be right back. Well, the most important thing about um, setting up your tent is uh, prime real estate uh you would want to kind of pick a spot that is free of uh pine cones uh twigs uh if you're a person that prefers uh soft like grass compared to uh, a little bit of hardness like that area um that would provide a better sleep and protection, like the green gla grass, than uh, sleeping somewhere that has hard ground. Uh, I prefer to sleep on the grass, grassy areas, if provided by Mother Nature. Sometimes you have to deal with it. Um, I'm going to set up uh, my tent. In this prime real estate location. Um, after that, I will uh, switch it to the GoPro because the camera that I am recording off of isn't wide angled at all, which really sucks. So, when the GoPro, or should I say, when the tent is all erected, I will switch it to the uh, first person view so you guys can see the inside of the tent 
as if you were in the tent. So uh, let's get started. I will switch it really fast to the uh, <coughs> to the uh, uh, yeah. Okay, as a seasoned tenter, I would have to say that um, this is really not for uh, a beginner. As you saw that I had um, a few uh, hiccups. Um, now, these things, these little things I call uh, ribbits, ribbons, whatever, uh, I would suggest you keeping them because this tent isn't really uh, sustainable with it without its, uh, should I say, when you pack it up, it'll uh, unfold again, like, like gain in size, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so what you're looking at is a tent made by uh, Bushnell. It's a 360 degree panoramic view. You can camp without it, uh, without the uh, rain fly, like days like this, where it won't rain. Uh, that's the majority of the time that I'll probably be doing, because this thing is a pain to set up uh, so we're gonna go in to see what it looks like um, this has two ports of entries neither of them has fees to pay okay I was just making a side joke now oh, we get inside this is your second door which is lovely if you have two people uh, you can lay on either side uh, the recommended areas to lay is from this side to that side but if you're a short person I wouldn't suggest it anyway uh, it has pockets one two three four and a little flashlight deal right there that's pretty awesome I wouldn't say anything different uh, you can close it up uh, pretty cool yeah I would say it's pretty cool huh uh, it's cozy material is made out of ripstop uh, as this is what you call your bathtub uh, I will go over the details at the end of the video what it's made out of uh, I have the little pamphlet inside uh, this thing is awesome you hook it up like this boom Sorry about the sun. I can't control that. I cannot. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, would I say this is uh, a trail approved? Uh, each to his own. I would definitely take it on the Appalachian. I would. Uh, you got these little, little tie outs for your love it door but majority of the time I hang it from here that's pretty much it now I'm gonna go and put that on so yeah I'll be right back all right now here I am 
putting the uh, putting the rain fly on. I gonna say I like the idea of the clips here. I got little clips right here. You just buckle them in. Boom. Great. Uh, so this is your vestibule. 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 I gotta practice saying that word. So I wonder if I really don't want to use it. Do I have to? Can I just tuck it in? But it also has. Huh. So this is the main question here. Million dollar question. Do I have to use it? Is it a I must so I'm going to tuck that like that. So the million dollar question is do I really need a vestibule? Like, do I really need to use it to SS port of entry? But also, you can, I believe, stake it out. So, I'm going to see really fast. Uh, used it once. Where are you? Uh, where are you, door zipper? Or. Well, I know I have it right. Or do I? Is it inside out? Okay. I lost the door zipper. Oh, there we are. So the question is. Is it possible to use the t uh, it without it? And it looks like it. So, we're going to go inside. And use the tent without the vest. Boom. But, we, uh, we lose the added protection of... Not getting drenched, I believe. I believe so. Uh, there's a design flaw right there. Because people like me really don't want to use the vestibule. So, it draws an added uh, design flaw there. I'd have figured something out off camera, I'm telling you. So I'm gonna go and set it up, set the vestibule up, so you can tell what it looks like with the vestibule. Now this is what it looks like setting it up. You got another uh, beautiful thing here. Way too beautiful here. Uh, these are aluminum. These aren't uh, what you see in your thirty to forty dollar tent. Normal thirty to forty dollar tent. So they have this right here, a sleeve, which I don't understand why they didn't make the whole tent that away. I'm not really into the into the um, that that buckle in stuff, the clips. They have. I'm not really into that. I wish they had it better. A better design. But hey, you get what you pay for, right? <coughs> well, this tent was bought by my family, my mom and dad. There you go. Now. I'm on a hunt here. 
Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. It takes a little, little effort to put up the tent. And I believe you'll need four. Four of these. And I wouldn't say, or I wouldn't recommend putting this tent up in the dark. Like, have a few hours before dark. Cause, okay, these, Okay, well, stake number one, I picked, mistake number one, I picked a rough location here. Uh, it's not really the ideal. You don't really want to bend your stakes, but I'll tell you what. I'll be right back. Oh, there we go. It's a little better. So, you get the idea. I'm not going to stake them all in. Now, I believe I should have did it a little wider, a little farther. But, you get the idea. So, now we're going to go inside the tent and look and look at it. It's a little bit of a struggle. It's not much, but it's it's earned the name the castle because it's huge. Now Yeah. So, if you have it set up properly, I'm sure I don't have it that much, but if you have it all set up, this is what it should look like. I got that side, but I don't have that side uh, staked down, so you get the gist of it. It's pretty huge. You got another door entry that side. Uh, in a pinch, in a very slight pinch, you could have a third person sleep out that way. The person that can't really be that big, though. Let's test that out. Okay, I'm 5'5 five five here, so we could imagine a 5'5 five five person. A 5'5 five five person. Yeah, in a slight pinch, you could. You could. I wouldn't recommend it, but. Let's say in a slight pinch you could. But this is also a flaw here. I didn't realize it. The other day when when I camped in it, there was like a little little uh, twig to hold it out like that. But uh, in time would time would tell. But also you would stake it out. I believe, yeah, you would stake it out and have it properly done. Yeah. So this is what it is. Beautiful tent. Um, I would say you can have your dog sit up there, have a little bit of fun. Uh, you can have a dog sit up there if you're not too keen of having a dog.
inside your tent. I wouldn't say anything bad, too bad about this tent, but the overall rating that I give is probably a six and a half. Six and a half? The tent itself is flawless. I like it. But the the deal with this it could do it could it could be better. It could. I would say. <coughs> yeah, it could be a little bit better. But I guess you can fix that by doing something else with it. <coughs> you got that side looking better. It's probably because I have it down better. Yeah. But anyway, this is my review, and I will be back with the specs at the end of the segment here. Right. Hello. So this is actually a, as you saw, a two-person backpacker tent. It's 7.5, it's 7 uh, 4.5, 48 inches. And it's, uh... By yeah, I forgot to say buys buy parts. So excuse me for looking into the uh into the uh, screen. I'm sorry. Um, so what the tent actually comes with is uh internal gear loft, main poles, which are two of them. Um, they come with a fly pole, carry bag. Which, uh, the carry bag, it, uh, they have straps to, uh, straps on the side, they're a cinch, you can cinch them, make it more compact, and they got this lovely deal. And also, uh, try not to, uh, Tug on this too much because you'll have a difficulty uh, pulling that knot out. Uh, I put a knot, well, the manufacturer had it like that, so I decided why not? Why not follow that? That's pretty cool. So I was like, why not follow that rule of, rule of thumb? So the tent, uh, the drawstring won't come apart, like, you know while you're traveling, walking down the trail, or whatever the case is. Um, so, it uh, also comes with a uh, rain fly, as you saw in the video, uh, stakes, and tie downs. Um, it also comes with extra, I'm pretty sure these are for the uh, tent uh, poles, the string inside of them. Um, it doesn't really list what it's about, like, I read the manual, manual, <sighs> manual, and it doesn't really say anything, it doesn't really say anything about it, but if you have co comments and questions, you can call the free toll line at one 800 774 Five eight forty. If you have this tent, uh, but and after uh, it was a birthday present. Um, time would tell. And yeah, so pretty much, it's pretty cool. It's a Bushnell Room uh, Rome series two person backpacking tent and unfortunately for this company uh their motto is uh what is it i think i saw it uh but anyway they don't realize what type of adventures i do so let's see if it holds up to what they say uh any rugged terrain weather and any journeys. So, let's see 
if this thing really holds up. And oh yeah, by the way, the tent itself is not a form or a four season tent. The rainfly is a four tent or four season. That's the rainfly. It's not the tent itself. So yeah, if you see that, make sure you don't lose your uh, rainfly. Don't chuck it. You can get a new one, a different one. That's what it makes that tent itself a four men or four season tent. But anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, I could have made it a little bit less, uh, a little bit less, but I wanted to show you in full detail. But anyway, folks, uh, you can get this product at Walmart. Yeah. Peace.